Hi, today is Friday, June 19th. I'm Mike Malcolm, and here's what's coming up at the Church of St. Mary. When you look at the parish website this weekend, you'll see some great photos of last weekend's First Communion. Thank you so much to Holly Stokes, an amazing photographer who took all the pictures from last weekend. And also, congratulations to all the students who received their First Communion. Thank you to the parents and catechists who supported them all the way, especially Jane Bender and Anne Bloomfield. When you come to Mass this weekend, or if you just go to the parish website or social media to see pictures of the vestibule, it's just about done. At least all the basics are. The ceiling and the walls and the floor are now pretty much done. They're going to work on some finishing, a few details, and we'll be ready to kind of return it to normal operation soon. Thanks to everybody who supported that part of the renovation through the With Arms Open Wide campaign. Looking ahead, the Home Improvement Ministry did some work last week to take out doors and some of the fixtures out of the annex in anticipation of its demolition. That will happen sometime soon. So I'll keep you posted and believe me, I'll be taking lots of pictures when the building comes down. The parish Encore Yoga is not meeting in person because you really can't do yoga with good social distancing and we don't have the space for it. So they're doing it on Zoom. So congratulations to uh, some of our Encore folks for coming up with a great solution to keep a ministry going. Finally, we are honored to have been chosen to be the sites of the baccalaureates for both Casha Hall and Bishop Kelly High School. Casha Hall had their back on Thursday, whereas Bishop Kelly has theirs on Friday. I'll be streaming the Bishop Kelly baccalaureate, so you'll be able to find it on our website. And all those videos that have been streaming that you've been watching, including this one, thank you so much for watching it. We hit a milestone for us, a thousand subscribers to the channel, and that's just incredible. Who would have thought that some little Catholic church in Oklahoma would have that much video viewers? Thank you all. I'm grateful to you. Take care, have a good weekend, stay safe, and I'll see you sometime soon.